Nutritional yeast like these can be highly nutritious, but I have some bad news in that we just tested all of these 10 products in the laboratory and found that 9 out of the 10 did not live up to their nutritional claims. I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman of ConsumerLab.com, and we just put this report out on ConsumerLab.com. Now, these products can provide high amounts of protein and fiber, but in terms of vitamins and minerals, you need to be very careful. The major problem we found with the non-fortified products, which are these over here, and they tend to be tan in color, was that they contained a lot less iron, 85% less in many cases than claimed. And if you're relying on these products to provide you with iron, you're in trouble. We also found a similar problem with vitamin B6 in some of these products. Now, some of the fortified products, and they tend to be yellow in color, that's because of added uh, riboflavin and folate, which are yellow in color. The problem with these is that some of them had lower amounts of folate, B6, or B12 in them. Also, some of these products had very high levels of niacin, levels high enough that could cause skin flushing, tingling, and even burning. So you may be wondering, well, how could this be? Why are there so many problems with the labels on these nutritional yeast products? We speculated that perhaps manufacturers were just using the wrong numbers when they created these nutrition facts panels on products. Interestingly, that was confirmed for us just about 12 hours after we put out this report to Consumer Lab members because we heard from one of the brands represented here that failed our test, and they told us that they have actually found problems with their product in terms of the labeling because the labeling from the third-party manufacturer was incorrect. However, they hadn't looked at the full spectrum of nutrients that we looked at, uh, and they are now going back to check that and will probably be correcting their labeling. Hopefully, other companies will be doing the same. In the meantime, one product did pass our tests. That product actually had all the nutrients at the levels that they claimed, uh, in addition, we found that it had a fairly good taste relative to some of the other products. Uh, it was reasonably priced, and it lacked heavy metal contamination from lead, arsenic, cadmium, and mercury, which was also the case, fortunately, for all of these products. So be very careful if you are relying on nutritional yeast to get vitamins and minerals. If you are one of more than 100,000 Consumer Lab members who support our research, you can go online right now and see all of our results as well as our top pick among them.